Service coming to you as always from the uh, Bluffton Property Lounge here in the Promenade at Old Town Bluffton in uh, South Carolina. And today it's a little gloomy, but it's still very warm and very beautiful, and I would rather be here than pretty much anywhere else. So I missed you guys. I haven't done this in a couple of weeks. We've got a lot of things going on. Um, mostly good, but uh, you know, that's life. So here's what's going on today. I'm going to, as always, give you a little rundown of what's going on in the market, what's happened in the last 24 hours, what my basic read is, and what that means for you. As always, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and stick them in the comment section underneath, and please feel free to like this video, say hi, and uh, share it with uh, your friends and anybody you think might want to know what's going on in the real estate market. As we all know, real estate is a really fun thing to um, talk about. We can thank HGTV and Bravo for that. Uh, in large part, but you know, it's, it's a really wonderful thing to talk about. It's very important to understand what's going on because the real estate market as a whole is a massive indicator of what's going on economically in general. So here's what's going on in our neck of the woods today. We have 23 new listings that have come on in the last 24 hours, okay? 22 of them are under a million dollars, although some of them, by technicality, one of them is an outlier at nearly three million. That's a beautiful Pittman home in Cold River. Um, I actually also have a Pittman home that is, that is currently listed as absolutely stunning, but it's not in this list today. That's for another video. Um, price going up, we have two. You always get a couple of those for various reasons for that. But the most important one that we usually tend to focus on here is price drops. Today we have 16 price drops, and they range again, and I said to you, it doesn't always matter what the price point is. Price affects every level. So as you can see, our price drops are actually all the way from $229,000, which is a pretty pretty basic starter price point in our market, all the way up to two and a quarter million. So we've seen price drops all the way in that range um, for today. So sold under contract, this is another one we're really gonna focus on today because, so respectively, we have 13 that closed today and 26, and this may change by the end of the day, of course, and 26 um, that are under contract today. So that's a lot of movement in a market where 23 just came on the market. Um, again, the range is huge, all the way from 185,000 all the way up to nearly 3 million. Only one of those was a short sale. Um, so that's a really good indicator of a healthy market as well because we have very, very few distressed properties in our market as it stands right now. And certainly after the downturn, there were way more and most of those have been absorbed or taken care of. And of course, you've always got certain uh, situations in people's individual lives that you know call for things like that. So there are never none but there are very few, and as you can see, only one of those today was a short sale. So what we're seeing here is that the homes in our market right now, as of today, are selling faster than they're listing, which is excellent news for our market. What that does is puts um, slight upward pressure on price points, and so, of course, um, for a seller, that's particularly good news, but for a buyer, I'm gonna go ahead and caution you, as I have done in the last couple of months, that is what, in general, is happening in our market. The overall price point, even though you may see macro-level price drops, our overall price trend is going up, right? So it's a really good time to buy, not only because their prices are not where they're going to be, but also because money is very cheap. And what I mean by that is that the interest rates are still historically low. They're a little higher than they were this time last year. And that's going to be true again next year. So if you are on the fence, now is a really good time to buy for both of those reasons. But it's also a great time to sell because you've got a lot of people who have been on the fence about that, um, and now those prices are really recovering, especially depending on the price point that you're in. If you're in that sort of bread and butter under 400, under 350 price point, you're probably going to make money on the home that you bought in the last couple of years. Um, and it also depends on where you are too, but that's where the sort of case-by-case -case stuff comes in, and that's where you just give me a call and we sit down. But, so that's really important to understand. The other thing is, and that's, you know, that's a logical movement with the price drop. It's something that we talk about a lot, and you would expect to see more sales when prices are dropped, right? Because price is very, very important. I would argue that it's the single biggest thing that determines whether or not a home sells. And that takes us to lesson for today, which is price versus marketing. So a lot of people, um, they tend to say, well, you know, my house is very special, it should sell for X, and it was because it wasn't marketed properly that it might not have sold. A lot of agents will jump on that and say, no, you've got to drop the price. Nine times out of 10, that's true. You probably do have to drop the price. It's probably a price issue. And that's one of the easiest ways to turn and the easiest things to quantify. But I will caution you, it is usually about price. It is not always about price. 
That's something that's very important to understand. Sometimes it is about marketing, and that is where my firm really shines, and that's not what this video is about. But the reason that I know that is because I understand the power of um, incredible global marketing, and that is something that is extremely, extremely important, especially as real estate becomes more and more of a global business and industry. And so the understanding of if your home is priced correctly, then it probably is the marketing. But again, on the other side of that, no amount of incredible marketing is going to sell a grossly overpriced home. Um, now there are some exceptions to that, trophy properties, things that really can't be comped, you know, they're selling for six million dollars a square foot or something ridiculous like that. Of course we're not talking in those terms, but we're talking about the general everyday properties. And in our market, you can even be looking at anything, let's say under two and a half or three million, that you can pretty easily comp um, and understand, if you understand how to make pricing adjustments, roughly where that home should sell. And most of that is logic. Um, it is both an art and a science, but trust me, it is both. And the science is a big part of that. So it's very quantifiable. You have to understand what's going on, what's going on in the head of your realtor, the appraiser, because if you are, your buyer is financing, it needs to appraise, right? Not everybody can come to the table with an extra 50 grand. So all of those things rolled into that. But the basic idea for today is price, again, almost always king. And in our market right now, it's looking really good. So again, we're still in that sweet spot. Great time to buy, great time to sell. I'd love to talk to you. If you have any questions for me, you can always follow me at Wallace Blickero. Um, get in touch with me via cell phone, 843-707-2777. And you can always reach out via email, which is daniela.squickero at edusa.com. Thanks so much for joining me, guys. I am so glad to be back at the whiteboard, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.